People have been thinking it's a kangaroo, they're thinking it's a wallaby, but it's a quokka. <laughs> Surely everyone knows what a quokka is now after Roger Federer posted that picture of him down at Rockland. Exactly. Rockers. Yeah, I'm going to take a selfie and send it to him and say, see, I got closer. <laughs> CG in the background, kind of. It's Valentine's Day. Well, Valentine's Day is now as I'm recording this. If you're watching this back, I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. And what do I love more than planes? No, not the cat. We've decided <laughs> I'm in the shade. to. Oh, you are in the shade. Do you yeah, want to come in the sun? We can edit that shade <laughs> comment out. We're killing time down here at the moment by the arrow. We've got about five minutes because we've got a slot booked in a new concept by Qantas. They've set up a temporary pop up, I think it's here for three days in Melbourne, called the Qantas Workplace. Uh, they're doing work sessions in the morning and play sessions in the afternoon so we're booked into the afternoon session not sure exactly what to expect but it's all to do with the new the launch of the new service they have which goes from Perth all the way non-stop to London Heathrow so all the way from Australia to England it's the kangaroo route that started in 1947 but the first time it's ever been completely non-stop it's on the brand new Dreamliner which obviously we've flown on before on this channel as well so we're gonna go along have a look check out the seats and um maybe get a glass of champagne or something because it is Valentine's Day after all. Oh no, that's really sad. What do you think happened there? Bad break. <laughs> it's the worst day for it. Second longest flight in the world. It is non-stop through to the UK. Yes, my homeland. That's right. What? I thought it was your homeland. It's the accent. I know. Floor. What are your What are your tips mm. for the seventeen-hour flight? Like, obviously, don't get drunk in the lounge beforehand. That's, that's like the thing. The, Everyone the says I really want to have advice. a drink and then go to sleep, and that's yeah. the worst thing you can do for yourself because you dehydrate yourself and you wake up with a headache. So that's the worst thing to do. So stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Water. You get the one point two five liter bottles and oh, drink yeah. that on every flight, and you'll yeah. you'll be fine. Just eating when you're when you're hungry. When if you're just gonna sit there and try and sleep the whole way yeah if you're meant to be eating if you're in that routine your stomach's in that routine and you're missing that then you're gonna be feeling extra worse when you wake up because you haven't eaten that yeah. whole time any kind of key differences between like what customers can expect on the Dreamliner as opposed to some of your other fleet yeah operating? I find the biggest thing with the Dreamliner is the humidity in the cabin the air is so much more uh, so much less dry years ago when the 787 came out I remember thinking oh you know, more humidity in the cabin. Surely it's not, you know, you won't feel that, but you do, you really do feel it. So that's one of the big differences. Apart from having the most leg room out of all the um, airlines in mm. Australia as well, um, the more the most pitch you can have um, in economy, a brand new business class that is um, better than Virgin's. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't fully flat at the moment, but it does go completely flat, unlike the sky bed at the moment, which is more of an angle. This is a full flat bed. We've got a do not disturb as well for those customers who like to sleep on the long flights and um, they don't want to be working woken up for food or anything, they push that button and we know to keep them sleeping the whole time. And if you're in the middle of your um, work, let's say you've got your laptop out and you're doing some work, it's inevitable the crew are going to come through and want to serve you some food and drinks and stuff. What you can do is just close the lid and put the laptop under here and this is actually goes under a bit further so you can fit the, ah, um, the laptop underneath because I remember I had it when I went to Perth, I was in the middle of something and the crew yeah. came through and I didn't have to then get up and put my laptop in the overhead again and pack it all away <laughs> so it's been designed really well and also other thing not to forget on the Dreamliner the um, window shades yes the window shades are awesome with the dimmable window, window shades exactly yeah right and even They're when it's completely fun. black you can still see outside mm. and customers like that because if it gets a bit bumpy they sort of like oh I want to know what's outside if we're going through some clouds or over mountains or whatever you can still see it when it's completely black I remember when I was a passenger when I was younger mum would be next to me trying to sleep and I'm like oh where are where are where are we and I'd lift <laughs> the shade and the whole cabin's bright <laughs> yeah, exactly. and I'm like sorry guys, everyone wakes up awesome all right well thank you Chris oh before You're you welcome. go um, 
top tip, where to go in London? Have you got a favourite place? I loved going there. Being on the the, the, the London Eye, you can yeah. see the aircraft coming in, going into Heathrow, <laughs> you've got the, the river there. It's all so scenic and you go really high on the London Eye, so you definitely got to do that. All right, yeah, that's good. Go good tourist it. tip for ab geeks as well. Exactly Plane right. spotting and you tourism at the same please time. Please everyone, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Well, there you go. So yeah, you might see, if you see Chris when you're flying on the Dreamliner between uh, Perth and London, be sure to say hello. Uh, make sure you told him you saw him on this channel and uh, he might be carrying... <laughs> I'm sure to look after you. I'll give you some PJs, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs>